They strolled in by the hundreds. Solidarity and somberness for a legend in Arizona politics. He was a really down-to-earth person, and it was just like talking like anybody out in the street. Ed Pastor meant so much to so many people. As he lay in state today, a line of appreciation got longer and longer and longer. First in line out of really hundreds of people, Steve Mora arriving here two full hours before the doors even opened. He uh, was, was with the uh, uh, Congress, with they got things done. So that, that's, uh, that's his legacy. Inside the memorial, tears for sure, you better believe it, but plenty of tributes for a modern day civil rights icon. Really not lost on anyone here. The fact that Ed Pastor was the first ever Hispanic member of Congress from our state. He was uh, very loyal to his, uh, where he grew up. He never forgot where he came from. He never forgot his uh, background. He had a lot of dignity and a lot of pride. It is a defining legacy because many others, what happened is it opened up the door for many to run for office. Including Laura Pastor herself. She says her father never let his race or really his heritage for that matter become an issue. This proud daughter not remotely surprised at the support for her father. In really a beautiful sense, she says it just means things have come full circle. It's love, and it demonstrates the love that people had for him, but also the love that he had for the community. In Phoenix tonight, Ryan Sims, Arizona's family.